Hey guys and welcome back, Dev Spider here again, finally over being sick for the most part, so we're going to finally try to get some more content out before the main release reset is tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be the first light reset so that there's going to be about a week of testing, then there's going to be a full reset and upgrade to the new hardware so that the drops in uh, large combat shouldn't be as bad as it has been when you have like 300 plus people in the field fighting each other. So from there let's go ahead and review Meduli, as you can see we're at the front entrance to it, it is the Desert City. So when you first get here, you're probably going to come in through right here. If you want to stable your horses, we're going to head over here to the right. And this is where you can put your pets. And you can buy pets if you're brand new to the city. So then we have the pet broker here. We've got our stable master right here. And we've got our desert horse and stuff stabled here right now. Then we're going to make our way down into the main city. I'll also go over the libraries, the books, and the librarians towards the end of the video and include a list of that. Alright, so there's not much over here on this side. There's really not nothing in there. So if you want to, just keep on coming straight down this main road. If you come into here, this is the library. So we've got three librarians in here. We're going to pause for a second. I'm going to list what these three librarians have. You can pause the video yourself then and see the cost and which books they have in case there's one here in this city that you need. If you don't know, you need to travel to different cities. Some cities have certain books, other ones don't. So you have to do some traveling based on what your crafting and profession is. All right, then here we've got our little uh, alchemy vendor, a vial vendor, alchemy tables, and your extraction for fabricula. <laughs> We can come around. We've got the uh, butcher table, table right here. There's more butchery tables around the corner. There's one in here. You've got your animal material librarian right here. We're going to pause for a second. You can also pause the video again and see what books they offer in case you need something lower from this one. All right, moving along from there. Then head into here. We've got another librarian. So just hold R to talk to your librarians. This guy's got all kinds of lore for metals and gems. So we'll pause there for a second. I'll get that posted up. All right, moving right along. Continuing down into this bottom part of the city. Here you've got some more extraction tables for herbology. We've got a botany lore librarian here. I'll get that posted onto the screen too from a screenshot. You can use this back door here. If you see these little sheet looking cloth covers, you can walk through these to go through more doors. And then you've got an extraction press back here on this little porch. There's not much else down here, but if you want to do some fishing and stuff, there's the docks here. When the ships get in, this will probably be a really cool harbor to be at. And then from there, we're going to head back up into the actual city. So if we come around this corner here and keep moving, there's not too much over here there to the right. A lot of people, uh, I believe Kodo and Northgard fight over there a lot. They were having a big mock battle a second ago. So there's some more vendors and stuff this way. We'll head that way in just a moment. So if you come over here, we we're going to have a trade broker and the postal service. We've got another butchery table here. Multiple ones just outside and bouncing around. That's it for this side of the city, unless you just want to run around and look at the sites. And then we'll head back up here to all the vendors, the grocery vendor, the fishing vendors, equipment vendors, utility vendors. They're all located right here. Um, right over here, we've got the extraction grizzly. We've got the crusher. We've got the grinder. So if you're extracting ores, this is one of the places you're going to want to come to. I think we can get in through right here. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Uh, so we'll just go back up the main street. Alright, so if you come into here, you've got multiple vendors just lined out in this little outdoor market. So we've got the decoration vendor here if you have a house and you want to buy decorations for it. We've got the cooking vendor. You've got your magic vendor here. Fishing vendor. Here's your equipment vendor. Weapon vendor. 
the armor vendor, a grocery vendor, another grocery vendor, <laughs> so you can get all the food and stuff you need. And then moving right along, right here you've got your utility vendor. We can come up to here, we've got the bank and everything, so we've got a banker there, trade broker right here in the center, and then another banker on this far side. We come back out here, go around this fountain, there's the outdoor market again. If you come into here, there's the spiritist traders. Each one of these offers a different item. I'll pause for a second to post a list of what they have. Right here is where your guild management happens. So here's the community guild stone. So if you have a guild and you're managing it, you want a guild, here's the stone to do so. And then from there, we can come up here. So if you take these stairs right here really quick, it'll take us back to where we first started the video. So there's the front entrance with the Maduli sign. Right here to the right is the priest. So if you die, if you want to set your home point, this is where you'll do that. If you're brand new in the city and you're trying to make gold and get started, you can follow this road. And go down those stairs over there or go out this way. And the graveyard is located right over there. So we'll get up on this rock. So there's the graveyard. So if you want to go kill some zombies and skill up and make some a little bit of silver and gold, there that's the closest place. Now this is a desert biome, so there's a, if you head that direction, there's a bunch of desert horse spawn points and some step horses and everything else that you could want. And then we're gonna head back over here, head down the stairs again, and we'll get into the crafting area. So right here is going to be the house vendor. So you come into this out into this little building, talk to this guy if you want to buy housing. It's all pretty costly. It's going to be something you're going to have to wait a little bit to do. This is also where you can buy your strongholds. Come back outside of here. Head down these stairs in case you need to get your rep up. In case you've been PvPing and killing people, head down here. So we've got another grocery vendor, and then right here you've got your Moduli task vendor. This is where you can get your parcels to deliver. And then we'll go straight across from that into here, walk through this little mesh. This is where you can find your material lore library. Again, we'll pause for a second so I can get that list up on the screen. Then we have the crafting library. We'll pause one more time. And then come outside, and here is going to be all of our crafting stations. So we've got shield crafting, weapon crafting, extraction furnace, bow crafting, refining oven, armor crafting table, and then your pet equipment crafting table. And then another furnace. And that, guys, in a nutshell, is the city of Maduli. The desert city looks a lot like slums to me. Definitely not one of the most beautiful cities, but it is definitely interesting. I think it's going to be a cool place with ports and everything else. And that is going to be our review of Moduli. So from here, we're going to head to another city. We'll get another video out on the next one. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go to next. Probably Tindrip or Vada. But uh, you'll see it when it comes out, guys. I hope to get this all out before full release. I'd like to cover every city so that we know all the books, all the locations of all the vendors and things for all the new players. And as always, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see some more content. Leave any comments below if I missed something or if you want to help somebody out. And thanks for watching.